What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's Scheme of the Week video, we're going to be going over our basic zone pressure out of the Nickel 335 formation. And um, remember that we like the Nickel 335 uh, this week, and it can be found in the 4 3 defensive playbook, as well as many others. If you're running my 3 4 scheme from a while back, it can also be found in the 34 defensive playbook. So be sure to uh, find the Nickel 335. I think it's a very good defense uh, of itself. The play we're going to be focused on today for our basic zone pressure look uh, is going to be the Loop Crash 3. What we want to do with this is we want to create our basic look, base align, shift our linebackers to the right. And um, just like our run defense look, you know, remember our run defense, uh, we left Holly in. We're going to do the same thing here. So the only adjustment we need to make after we do that is we just need to re-blitz our left of screen defensive end. And then I like to slide Robinson in to make it look like I'm blitzing. A lot of times what I'll do also is I'll take um, Lewis if I have enough time and I'll throw him into a buzz zone. And then I'll grab onto the middle linebacker here. I'll put him into it, and I'll shade my coverage to the left. So now, basically, it's uh, a pretty decent balanced zone, uh, in my opinion. And you're going to get pressure off of the left edge here. You see that Den Denial Robinson, with really good hit power, is going to come off that edge uh, at the quarterback untouched. Now, I like this play because it's flexible. Uh, that's why I picked this play over that cover three invert. Uh, if we want to send it off the right, then all we need to do is when Rob we, we slide Robinson in here, we're going to put him into a, a, a flat zone, a buzz zone, whatever we want. And then we're just going to re-blitz both defensive ends. And here you're going to see uh, we're going to get that right edge pressure at the quarterback. Uh, real quick, uh, one thing I forgot to mention on your depth chart. Uh, this is why you're going to need to pay attention to this week. Uh, when we break down the depth chart, if you want this to work for you, um, you need to put um, your second best blitzer on the right of screen defensive end. Your first blitz your first best blitzer needs to be uh, that two-man under blitz just so that it can get really good pressure off the block shed. But your second best blitzer needs to be your right of screen defensive end, in my opinion, for that example right there because he's not fast enough to get in. Um, you'll, you'll have to make another adjustment if, if he's slow. Um, so here we make that, and now you see the pressure gets upfield quick. Now, if you want to get it completely untouched, here's what you need to do. Base the line, shift your linebackers to the right, re-blitz your right of screen outside linebacker, then re-blitz everybody that you need to re-blitz based on the pressure you want. So here we're setting up the right edge, so we're going to re-blitz both defensive ends, and now you see we're going to get that right edge pressure. It's just a couple of different adjustments based off of what type of pressure you want to get. Um, you know, if you want to just if you want a, 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 a one setup less. Sorry, guys, I can't talk today. But if you want to get one setup less and not have to worry about reblessing a linebacker, then I again you have to make sure that that guy's fast because he'll get around him. He'll get that block shed even if he gets picked up. So it's just it's just kind of pick your poison here. Um, but I I typically will just rebless the backer down and and it's fine because of the speed at which I, I can move it, uh, on the controller. But some of you guys may be a little bit more beginner style, so you may just need to do, what it, do the first version. Okay, so that's the right edge pressure and the left edge pressure. Now let's take a look at both ways. If we want to get it from both sides, uh, we're going to base the line, shift our linebackers to the right, re-blitz both defensive ends, slide Robinson down, and here you're going to see we should get two-way heat. But remember what I told you about the right of screen side. It's kind of messed up because the blitz angle is not as good as it was. It doesn't work as good as it did last season. So I recommend just go ahead and just re-blitzing that linebacker when you shift him. And now he's going to be the one to come free. So if you want to run this version, I recommend putting Houston at that linebacker spot. So here you go. Set the play up. And uh, something went wrong there. Uh, I think I forgot to re-blitz my right of screen or, or my defensive ends there. So my apologies on that. Now we got everybody re-blitzed. And now you see the pressure uh, coming off the left. Uh, if that happens right there, if you start getting picked up, uh, it's because you're running the blitz too much. So what you need to do, if you want to just make a simple adjustment, remember our run defense, we shifted the line back, or the defensive line to the left. Everything's the same. If you just shift the line to the left, now it's flawless. Uh, there's no way that it can get picked up. Uh, even if they slide, even whatever, it's going to come in untouched. So, just a couple of different ways to run this. Um, the safest version is the, is the last one I'm showing you right now, um, where you shift the line and you re-blitz the guy on the right. Uh, and then from there, it's pretty, it's pretty effective, so pretty efficient. So, that's the loop crash three, guys. That's the basic zone blitz. Remember, we like to use these play, uh, this play in situation where we want to send pressure at the, uh, our opponent. Typically on third down, this is where this play will come in handy. So, 
Um, remember to add this play to your offense or your defense and offense, and uh, lock up, guys. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, need further explanation, or whatever you need, let me know in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Have a great day, guys. Be sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to break down a basic man blitz.